I'm going to. Right, and so sorry, yes, and we are recording this meeting and um, we're going to send this to Marcia, so if you need to see the recording later on, it will be available. Teachers, if you have any problems, you can ask us, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did understand very well what I need to do for use the cell phone. So if you go, just go to Google on your cell phone, just open up, a, you know, Google and then go to join and then just type in joinpd.com. Once you do that, it will ask you for a code. So this is what your students would have to do um, is you as a teacher are controlling this. This is what your students would do. They would join pd.com and then enter the code that is there. And so the same uh, if you're on the computer, you can do the same thing. You can just go to joinpd.com and enter the code. So we were just saying if you wanted to see what it's like on your cell phone, because I'm assuming that a lot of your students would be accessing this through their cell phones, or at least a lot of our students do that. So the code. And the code is generated automatically. And then they always give you these fun, like determine quizzes, switch broke parrots, which make no sense at all. So we just have to type it D P D Q S S P. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a page like welcome to peer deck. Yep. So it should look like this. Okay. Yeah. Right. Welcome I'm here. to peer deck. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Yep. Exactly. So right now we have three, as you can see, this is what you'll see on your screen. You'll, we have 32 students of the 50 some people connected. And so if you've Alyssa, connected, oh, sorry. Alyssa, I have a silly question. Yeah. <laughs> what if I signed in with the wrong email address? I noticed it when I pressed it. Is there any way to go back? Um, a lot of the times it will time out <laughs> the okay. app if you don't keep it active. So if okay. you let it close, or you close it yourself, you probably have to uh, go in and again. And again. Okay. All right, sounds good, thanks. Yeah, and I was gonna say once another, you sign in, please stay another, on the app because the count, if you go to another application or window, we'll, um, the count that we see of who's connected goes down because it, it may disconnect you. So we have just some, for example, we, here in Sao Paulo as a, um, uh, how to say, teachers from uh, Secretaria, we have two uh, emails, institutional emails. So we cannot use these because I think it doesn't work. Right, it's better if you have like a Gmail account. Yeah. I mean, you can use actually any account as a student, but as a teacher, if you wanna create this, you need to use a Gmail account. And we, what we found with the group that we did this before with Antonio's group, that it didn't work well when they tried to use their um, institutional email. We, we were, how to say, I, I was, uh, war, uh, I was um, download this before just to see uh, if the email uh, works. It doesn't work with our email. So okay. I, I was talking with them just to change the email with a personal one. Right. Okay. So if you, if you have lost the connection, you just have to go again to joinpd.com and enter the code. Alisa, do you have an app like uh, to download on uh, Apple Store or no? Yes, you can do that as well. There is an app. To participate today as a student, you don't need, need to. The app. Yeah. Yeah, you can just go to join PD. 
we will get into setting it up as a teacher. And in that case, we are going to be looking for the add-on in your Google account to bring that in, but we'll, we'll oh. talk about that later. Okay, thank you. It looks like we have 37 connected, and I know that there's still quite a few more of you. Are you having problems? Do you have questions? How can we help you? Logged with my institutional mail, but when I tried to come back, I opened the, the, the website again, but it was already logged in with the institutional mail. I couldn't log in with my, my private mail. So I think as a student, it's probably okay, right, Kate? Yes, I think so. Yeah, so as a student, it should be fine. It's when you, we're gonna do the teacher part that you'll have, that you'll uh, want to switch to another email, but um, you'll be using different, a different uh, way to get into it, so you won't have to worry about it then. Does that make sense? So it should be fine right now as your institutional email. Right, just say institutional or is company mail? <laughs> yeah, whatever the institutional that company, yeah, it should be fine. Okay, thanks. Alisa. Alisa. Yes. Yes. I, just a second. Okay, I logged in of all the instructions. Are we supposed to see the same screen you were showing? Or because I'm, I, I can see another screen here. This. It should say, welcome to Pear Deck. Ah, okay. All right. So yeah. I'm there. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was supposed to see the one that you were sharing. Ah, okay. Yeah, oh, we're right. I'm there. keeping it big so you guys can see the code. So now okay, that I'm in. Actually, this is what you should be seeing. And you guys can see that if you have latecomers or people log off by accident, you will always see the code in the right hand corner, uh, the DQSBC. So, you know, if a student logs off, right, they go off to see their Facebook or something, they can okay. always easily get back in because they can always see the code there. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe Kate, we should start um, just for time Thanks. reasons. Yes. Um, and then, so again, for the latecomers, we can just help them get on. Um, mm -hmm. So again, we'd like to welcome you to our presentation on Pear Deck. We uh, look forward to working with you for this next hour and a half or so. Um, and now that you're hopefully in there, um, what we would like you guys to do is actually answer this question on number three. As you can see in number three, it says, in Pear Deck, answer, what is your favorite technology tool? So what you need to do then is simply answer on your, um, on your cell phone or your laptop if you have that open, and you should be able to enter in um, an answer to that question. If you're having difficulty with it, at the bottom of the screen, it should say something, or at least on my phone, it says answer question. There's a green box. So you should be able to write your answer there. Folks, the box is very, how I'd say, it's very small, okay? Yeah, it is small, right. How do I know if you can see my answer, please, Alisa? So, yeah, go ahead, Kate. So we can click down at the bottom from the teacher's presentation view, and then the teacher can display the responses. And so you can even show it to all the students if you want to. And see, we can see everybody's favorite tool. Thank you. And as you guys can see, it is anonymous, right? 
someone's favorite is Fair Deck. Is that Alyssa? <laughs> yeah, that was me. I put that in. <laughs> Uh, Google Classroom, yeah, Google Classroom, great tool. The whole Google Suite can do a lot of things. Jamboard. Oh, yeah, Loom. Mm. Padlet, that's one of my favorites. Go on to the next one. Yeah, I'm just moving the. Oh, okay. Sorry. So here we would like you again on your phone, on the on the pair deck. Um, we have another prompt or question for you here, asking you about how you yourself as the teacher, and then also how your students feel about technology. And so you can see at the top it says draw or type. So if you feel like drawing, you'll be able to draw on your phone. So again, the teacher can switch to show responses at the bottom of their presentation screen. And then we can see <laughs> some of your entries. Some smiley faces. <laughs> It's just another way to ask questions and, and gives the students an opportunity to do a different type of, of response by drawing in. A simple drawing, probably not too much you can do with your, your finger on your phone. But. Great, okay. And on the teacher, View again, you can switch back between showing the responses or hiding them. So you have control over that. And so now this is an instruction slide. So here, there's nothing for you to do yet. This is just a slide that tells you what we're going to do. So in the, in the next activity, you're going to think about using the, ben the benefits of using technology in class. And then you're going to, again, write or draw your ideas on the slide that follows. And then we'll review the answers together.
Alyssa, should I show the responses or give them a minute? What do we got? 32 out of 49? Yeah, maybe because we're just because of time. Yeah. It's almost uh, 3.30. Um, so looks like some of you have filled out your mind map here. So benefit. Yeah, that is fun, interactive. Yeah, connection maybe connects the students and the teachers in this online environment that we're all working in. So some great ideas. Well, somebody got very artistic. I know. Yeah, <laughs> typing and then adding some illustration. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, there's so many benefits. Yeah, we could spend our whole workshop probably listing all the benefits, but you've listed some important ones here. It's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Is it, you can see it too on yours? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Okay, well, so please ignore, oh, there, it disappeared. We're not sure yeah. what is going on. Okay. Zoom up. <laughs> so this is um, a way you can do even just some formative assessment or just to figure out what the students actually know, for example. So we wanted to ask you without the blue lines, what is Pear Deck? Is it an add-on? Is it a browser? Is it an operating system? So just choose the correct answer. Um, what you need to do is drag the icon so you can see the icon at the bottom. And so you should be able to drag it there um, to whatever you think it is. It's an add-on, a browser, or an operating system. So again, if you want, you can try and drag the, the little icon at the bottom, the little thumbs up that's red to the correct answer. And hopefully we're not having any technology issues. I can click on, it, uh, on in one of them. I'm sorry, say it again. I, I just can click, not drag it. Okay. There is a, a red hand like that. There is a red hand though. Like that, like this. Can you drag the red hand? Or even maybe with your mouse, move it somehow. Let me see. If you're using a laptop. I'm trying to use the cell phone. Okay. So it could be we're just having slight techn technology issues right now, but you should be able to, like on my phone, I can drag the icon it's really hard to see, obviously, but I can, I've just dragged it and you can see I put it here, right? So you should be able to drag it, move it like that, like that. So. Okay, so you can see the answers now. <laughs> so we had different ideas of what it is. But Pear Deck actually is an add-on. It's an add-on to Google Slides, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that. But this is, again, a way to you know, check students' comprehension, do a little bit of a formative assessment, for example, if you wanted. So we'll go to the next slide. Um, and then, again, this is another way you can test your students. So if you could 
I think well, I can see it on my phone. Okay, you can drag the icon again to whatever the answer is. So what is Power Deck? So again, this is more instead of using images, we're using text. Okay, so as we can see, Pear Deck is definitely is an add-on. And um, what we're going to actually do now, Kate is going to actually explain what that means in more detail and, and what actually Pear Deck is. I always like those previous slides. They're fun to see the, the dragging. <laughs> um, so Pear Deck is an add-on. So it's an add-on for Google Slides. So that means that you need to start with a Google Slides presentation. And then it's an add-on, meaning it's an extra tool that you can bring into your slides and it extends or gives, you know, special powers or abilities to your Google Slides um, and adds the Pear Deck uh, tool. So you can add some more interactivity like we've just been using with you right now in this workshop. So Pear Deck um, has templates and interactive questions, audio, and other activities that you add to your Google Slides. And it helps with student engagement. Um, the student is active on their phone while you are going through your lesson. It's um, a tool for formative assessment. So all the little questions and submissions that you ask, um, you are constantly checking in to see if your students are um, how they are understanding what you're doing in the lesson. And students um, do need their own device. So that is one thing. They will need their own device in order to use the Pear Deck. Um, so perhaps that is a limitation if your students don't have their own device. It can be used with a computer or, um, or a phone, as some of you are already using. So here, we'll just do a little check-in. So if you go to your phone, what do you think so far? <laughs> and here again, you can, I think you just choose. It's like a choose, true or false. Uh -oh. So it looks like many of you like Pear Deck so far, so we're happy to see that. <laughs> So we wanted to transition from being students to teachers. So we thought we could give you guys right a stretch break. Just maybe, maybe we won't do five minutes. Maybe we'll do two minutes just because of time. But just, you know, you can always give your students, right? Especially because it's so exhausting to be online so much. You can give them stretch breaks. So. Thank you. 
there is there is a person that is dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. should, we, should we continue kate just sure i was just reading okay, in so the chat some of you are i know <laughs> please don't be nervous we promise we'll walk you through everything now so now we're gonna show you more about pear deck in terms of from the teacher standpoint so i'll let kate um take over sure. so so now we're gonna really start looking on how to do this so as we just said, Pear Deck is an add-on for Google Slides. So that means you need to start with Google Slides in order to start using um, Pear Deck. So we're just going to talk about it right now. Um, and then we're gonna go into breakout rooms. So rooms with smaller um, groups, or a little, at least a little bit smaller. <laughs> and we are going to then take a few moments to add it to your, um, your Google Slides. But briefly, um, what you would do is you would go to your Google Drive, you would open Google Slides, so adding a new Google Slides, and then on your menu at the top of your window, you go to add-ons. I think we found out in our last workshop that this might say complements. I believe in your version of Google. <laughs> then you go to get add-ons and you select the Pear Deck from, you'll get a menu to find um, different add-ons and you go and you find the Pear Deck add-on and you install it. And then when you are going to create a Pear Deck lesson, you open a new slides presentation. And then if you've installed your Pear Deck, you go to your add-ons menu at the top of your screen and you should have the option of the Pear Deck add-on. So you go there to open the Pear Deck add-on. It won't open automatically. So you start your slides and then go to add-ons, go to Pear Deck, open the add-on, and then you will have all the tools um, on the right of your screen to start using Pear Deck. So actually, before we do that, we're going to go to the rooms, right? Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So what we're going to do now um, is we're going to put you into two rooms. I'll be in one room and Kate will be in one room. And we're going to do that we're going to add Pear Deck to our um, Google slide. We're gonna install it and then go through this next slide about looking at just how you would do it and how you would start creating a presentation. So we're gonna just maybe do this for about 10 minutes just to help everyone to install the add-on. Um, so I'm gonna put you into breakout rooms and I think this may be new for some of you. So you will see, and as soon as I do it, you will see an invitation pop up on your screen and you just need to accept it so that you can go into the breakout room. Okay, good, yeah, okay. And I'm not sure about you, Kate, where you're gonna end up, but we'll try. <laughs> okay. Kate, which room are you going to? The first one? Oh, you're frozen. Linda, did you get a breakout room too? Yeah. Okay. Sure.
teacher Linda. Miss you, teacher. Alyssa, are we ready for the yeah, next slide? Yeah, we're ready. So now that we have installed the add-on, we would like to do a temperature check to see how we're doing. So if you could please drag the icon to the statement that best summarizes how you feel. Maybe we can take a look at the answers. Okay, so it looks like we've got some people that are understanding there's a little bit of confusion still. And okay, and hopefully, okay, so well, hopefully this next part that we're going to do with you will help to clear up any confusion that you're having because I think, think we both agree that to be able to practice it, to actually do it, it will help to clarify how to use the technology tool. So is this me, Kate, or you? Is that you? Yep. Me? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to Alyssa, start... Sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, maybe I will do it because I think you're technically the host. So oh, you okay. can so I will the breakout rooms. Breakout rooms. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> so, um, what we're going to do, as Alyssa started to say, is we're going to um, switch our role from being a student to being a teacher, and we're going to practice creating a lesson using the Pear Deck add-on. So, we're going to go to breakout rooms again. They're going to be smaller groups. So, in your small group, and what I'd like it if you can choose the leader, so somebody who is going to start creating the, the lesson on their device. The leader is going to open a new Google Slides and then open the Pear Deck add-on. And then together with your group, we'd like you to try creating a lesson. So using the Pear Deck templates and the question types Go ahead and see if you can add a lesson. So some more specific details. You're going to create a slides presentation. You can try to choose a lesson theme. So maybe something that you would do with your students. What would you talk about with your students in a lesson? And then include one slide that asks students a question. So as you may have seen in the last breakout room, when you add the Pear Deck, bar on the right. There are options to ask students a question, so you can select the question types. And then include one or two slides that use something from the template library. So in the template library, there's these areas, there's lesson builders, there's learning development, 
and their subject areas. So if you could try to explore all three of those, so create at least one slide that has one of each of these. So again, you might have one slide that asks students a question. Then you have one slide with a lesson builder, one slide with learning development, and one slide with um, something from the subject area templates. And these are templates, which means that it's a starting point and you can adapt it or change it to use it with your students. So think back to your theme and see if you can adapt or change it. So we will go into smaller groups. We have um, me and Alyssa and Linda here to help as well. So we will be able to help some of you, but there are many of you. So please, you can use the chat to ask a question. And also if your group does not have one of the instructors, you can go to more and you can ask for help and invite the host. So that's a way to ask saying that you need help from one of us. So, okay, I put everyone as, into six rooms. So there's basically nine or 10 people per room. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, Kate, Linda, and I will try to jump around the different rooms, but as she said, um, please ask for help if you need it. So I'm going to uh, uh, open all rooms now. Okay. If you could join them. Just, just choose one of them. It's fine. Whichever one you want to do. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Because you're invited uh, to two rooms. Room yeah. So yeah. So to go to. I'm not going to be able to share the screen. Okay. I'm sorry. It's really there's a really bad connection. And I can't understand what you're saying. Can you say it one more time? So just if you can go to breakout room uh, four. I will assign to two different rooms. Yeah, breakout room four. Yeah, go go there. Can you go there or no? Uh, hold on. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, please go there. Can you get there? Yes, but I can't get to breakout room six. Get it? Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. Just go to breakout room four. Yeah, I think because I, I couldn't quite understand what you're saying. Can you write it in the chat? Because I can't under I'm sorry, can, if you can write it in the chat because you've frozen completely.
So,
Well, we're, we're just waiting and because you can stay in the breakout rooms for up to 60 seconds. So we'll just wait until everyone joins us. Alyssa, we could leave this up while everyone is joining us and then skip, skip ahead. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, we're back. Where's group four? Where are you four? It was really funny because uh, we, we, we never really, I, I had to do everything silent. Yeah? Everybody was giving me the expression that I was like doing it. <laughs> I think we, I'm sorry, we missed that because the connection is so bad. I don't know. I couldn't understand. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. And Shirley, you, you said you already had Pear Deck, right? You didn't even know it. <laughs> yeah, I think she had said that. Yeah. All right. How many are we? Are uh, we back? I think we're all back now, it looks like. Okay. Um, this is UK, right? Sure. Um, okay, so we are almost at time. So briefly, we wanted to share some links with you to help you get started. And once you're getting started, some other ways to use Pear Deck and get new ideas. So the first one just to start with this one. Then there's some more ways and then there's even more ways once you become an ex expert to start using Pear Deck in your lessons. And we're and going we to, sh oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, yeah, go ahead. We're, right, right. we're gonna share this with you after the session. So you'll have these later. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> so any questions in our two minutes that we have left. <laughs> you can type it into the chat or you can unmute your microphone if you would like. When are we having okay. another one? Whoops. When, when are we having another one? Another workshop? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're going, to, they're going to return. They're going to visit <laughs> Brazil teachers. <laughs> Come, well, come. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Yeah, keep those fingers crossed for us, okay? <laughs> yes, yes, please. You know what? Not, not only in Sao Paulo, they have to come to have some wine in the south of Brazil. Oh, we might have to take you up on that, definitely. <laughs> Alisa. Yes. For Kate, to share with these students, I simply save the the presentation I created on Google Slides and then share that link. So again, you would just share the joinpd.com and then the code. Okay. So just like right. we did with you. Okay. So you don't need to share your presentation itself with it, but go ahead, Kate. Yeah, so actually, so I, I think a step came up in one of the breakout rooms is when you're in the editing mode mm -hmm. from the Pear Deck menu on the right when you go to start lesson that's when you present it to the students and then you will have this option we have here so we're you can see we're in presentation mode then you have your code that you can expand your students go to join pd and enter the code the same for asynchronous lessons The same for, I'm sorry, say it one more time. Asynchronous lessons. Yeah, these are, yes, but you do have the option to do it as an asynchronous lesson when you choose a start present, start presenting, right? What is it, Kate? It's like start presenting and then you can choose either the student, you can choose the synchronous or the asynchronous option. Thanks a lot for your precious help. Huh? Yeah, no problem. Thank you for coming. Have yeah, you worked with university weird. students with this uh, tool? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because right, we, we teach at Arizona State University, so we work with we work with 
university students or we also have been working with teachers as well like training teachers so like training k through 12 teachers thank you yeah. we use it in our program um oftentimes with large groups so sometimes in the session they bring a whole level of students together which means it's probably about a hundred students even sometimes and they do um, classes with all of them together and they use the pair deck um, with the large group of students. Mm -hmm. And I think Juliana, you have a question. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Patricia. Uh, uh, what I noticed here is that we can share these activities on Google Classroom. The one I created and showed you, Alicia, I, I am able to share it to my students on Google Classroom, which is a tool we are using in Sao Paulo mm. with our students. And it's something I would only add to, to what we've been talking about. That's great. That's really great. And I think, Juliana, you had a question? Yes. For example, uh, uh, I have your lesson in my computer. Uh, is it possible to put into a slide? It's possible. Oh, so Wait, I have a lesson in my computer. Okay. Uh, in Portuguese, a quarter color, it's possible. In slide. Is it a PowerPoint? Yes. yes. Saved on your desktop? Yes. So you can just simply upload it, upload the PowerPoint to Google Drive, and then you open it with Google Slides, and then you can start putting all the Pear Deck in. Okay. Understand. Mm -hmm. The issue is when you download it, you won't be able to, like if you were just going to download it and just have it on your computer, obviously the Pear Deck is not going to work, right? Because it has to be in the cloud online. I have a question. I don't know if we have some time. Yes. I just I was just wondering briefly. I know it might take longer. How would you compare Jamboard to Pear Deck? I haven't used it, so I don't know. Yeah, we need some. <laughs> no. Okay. Eduardo, All right. You can give us a workshop on Jamboard. <laughs> I, I don't know anything about it. No, oh, very okay. little. I don't. Not that I don't know anything, I know very little. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering, because they have both good options. So how could you, to what extent could, is it better to use them board? Or to what extent is it better to use bear that? Right, thank you very much. Thank you for everything. It was great to see you again, virtually. Yeah, no, it's been great. And I think maybe, maybe others are familiar with Jamboard. Maybe they could um, weigh in on this and say whether what the advantages of Jamboard are. I just we don't know it. Okay, thank you very much. I know Jamboard is, is a good collaborative tool. I don't know if it works in the same way for like giving a presentation, an interactive presentation. Mm. But yeah, that is a good, that's question. a really good question. Maybe we can research. Thank it. you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. We're so happy to see everybody. Yeah. So it is past time. So we would just go on to conclude and provide our contact information. Again, we'll, we will share all of this with Marcia and she'll, she'll share it with you. Um, I don't know about Alyssa's time, but we can stay for a couple more minutes if you do have further questions, but also feel free to um, to leave the meeting. And thank you so much for coming and learning with us today. Uh, Alyssa and Kate, I would like to thank you again for this great opportunity to be with you too and Linda. Uh, it's really uh, a great opportunity to join us and to show this great uh, uh, technological tool. So again, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for everything. <laughs> you are wonderful. Yeah.
Yeah. And, th and thank you, Marcia, for arranging this all. That was really great. Thank you. That was great that you took the initiative to do so. If you want, you can return again. It will be <laughs> wonderful <laughs> to join you again. Take a look of uh, Denise. <laughs> Denise, do yeah. again. <laughs> oh, yeah, please come to Brazil, join us. And yeah, as everybody says, come rain or shine. Let's keep searching for new tools for our students. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. I think for us, uh, uh, English teachers from Brazil, to be in contact with you, it's uh, really, how to say, it's always excellent opportunity to learn and to exchange uh, knowledge, you know? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, definitely. And we, we, we appreciate the opportunity and we learn just as much from you guys. So it's just a great opportunity for, as you said, an exchange of ideas, so. And they are, uh, do you know, this group, they are, how to say, wonderful teachers, English teachers. They <laughs> do make uh, a difference in their cities, in their states as English teachers. They do make difference in students' lives. That's why they are here, you know, Kate and Alisa. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we believe you. We can see it. <laughs> So thank teacher. you. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, teachers. Thank you, Marcia. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. It was a great opportunity. Next day. It was a great opportunity not only to know more about the app. Bye, Patricia. Nice to you. meet you. Bye, nice to meet you, Ana Rosa. Thank you. Bye, folks. Bye, bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you, Marshall. Bye. Thank, you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Bye, bye. Daddy. <laughs> bye, bye. Thank you. Thank Monica. Bye, bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank Greetings. you, everyone, for attending. Ricardo! Bye, Deborah. Thank you again. Big hug to you, Ricardo. Bye, Marcia. Thank you. Anna! Bye-bye. 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 Thank you, my girls. Bye-bye. Debbie, a big, a big hug. A big hug Thank to you, you Debbie. <laughs> you too. Beijo. Bye, Bye Marcia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Jaqueline. <laughs> Andrea. Uh-huh. Rafa. Rafa. So nice to see you here, Rafa. Uh. Thank you, Marcia. Andrea, so serious today, Andrea. Oh. <laughs> Was receiving a lot of information. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, bye everyone. I'm going to end the meeting now. So it was very nice yeah. again. Thank you very Thank much you. again you much. for everything. Thank you, okay. Kay. Thank you, Thank Alisa. You. Thank you. Thank bye you. bye. Good to see everyone. Yeah, great to see everyone. Yeah, okay. thank you very much.